I know I'm putting you on a spot with this one, yep. but would you mind sharing maybe a quick story about God's love and how it changed your life? Oof. <laughs> uh, there's so many instances, but for me, when, when everything changed, I grew up in the church um, since I was a baby. But, you know, when I hit the teenage years, you kind of hit a, a bit of a roller coaster ride. So I was, you know, on fire for God, and then I was, ah, I'm not sure. And one day I prayed, or then I moved on to college. I, I was living on my own during the college years, and I sort of derailed a little bit. And I went for a walk in the woods, and I was just crying out to God. You know, I had I had some guilt, some shame because of things that I was doing that I knew was not pleasing to God. And I cried out to God and I said, Lord, I just, I don't want to do the roller coaster ride anymore. And I looked up to the sky, like in between the trees and the sun was shining. And when that sun shine on my face, I don't know, I can't explain it, but the love of God just washed over me. Like with the warmth of the sun, it just washed over me. And it's, it's like in that moment, I understood his love for me, like the love of the father and since then, it's like he put a stamp on me. I just cannot go back. And so now I live my life. It's not it's not to say, oh, don't do this, don't do that. No, it's to please God because I love him, because he loved me first. And so in my everyday life, it just looks like, how can I love on other people? Um, but first, we have to receive his love. That's the key. And it's very hard sometimes to receive his love because we have a hard time forgiving ourselves for things that we've done, things that we've said. And that's the first thing that needs to happen. He is willing to forgive us. In the moment that we say forgive us, he, it's done. It's a done deal. But for us to forgive ourselves is always a process. And it takes a bit longer. So once we can forgive ourselves and we can receive his love, then everything about the kingdom of God is a flow. It's a stream. It's a river. There's movement. So his love comes in our hearts, it's got to go out. It can't stay in. We can't be an incubator of anything. So we, we just, you know, share his love with people. And that's the beauty of it. Living in the overflow. That's right.